What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at out here. Um, it is the Earth Master here on this Sunday, January 14th, 2024, about 12.15 p.m. here, California time. And uh, latest earthquake activity looks like uh, 3.4 and a 1.9, 3.4 over across the Indonesia Islands area, one pointer on the Big Island. Uh, before we get into the global earthquake activity, a lot of uh, news about the uh, volcanic eruption in the Iceland area in and around the Grindavik area. Now this is a live webcam. It does show them, uh, well they've been working throughout the, uh, the day and night uh, to get all this equipment out of here. And I think they're trying to reinforce some berms out there as well after uh, fissure activity opened up about uh oh it was about eight o'clock local time there to iceland so they've had uh this ongoing event for a little while uh there in the region uh latest informational statement here uh well first i'll show you guys a little aerial view that the uh ruv.iceland site put out uh does show the magma or the uh, lava reaching the uh, northern area of Grindavik. Um, not 100% certain how much further this has gotten uh, into the town itself, uh, but definitely uh, was burning some houses there on the uh, north side of the Grindavik area. There's the ocean out there. Of course, this is going to be making its way, its journey towards the ocean, taking the, the, past, the path of least resistance. Now, latest informational statement here put out from the Icelandic Met Office here uh, states that uh, this was at 15:30 UTC time, so this may be uh, maybe a little bit, a few hours old. Uh, but they mentioned about the uh, eruption here uh, has maintained the same strength for the past hour or so. Uh, seismic measurements show that at the beginning of the unrest, the magma-filled dike intrusion initially moved uh, from the southeast edge of this area and then continued southwest to the uh, southern end of Grindavik. At 5.30 a.m. seismicity has reached the northern end of Grindavik and both seismicity and deformation measurements indicate the dike has since propagated beneath, Green, beneath the Grindavik area. Uh, this is you know, again translated into English here. Uh, a new eruptive fissure opened at 12.10 this afternoon just north of the town. Lava flows extru uh, extruded from the fissure have now entered the town. Now, due to the dike propagation here, existing faults and fractures were reactivated and likely new fractures formed within the Greenvik area. Uh, they are having all that volcanic gas out there as well. That looks like uh, it's moving away from the Iceland area offshore to the south, which is good news. Here's all that... Um, bog so to speak the pollution from the eruption activity uh taking it well south of town uh there's a lot of information going on here across the social media platform twitter here showing a uh, a view of some of the houses out there being affected by the lava flow and there's a lot more too i'm not going to show them all but uh this one was taken on uh, twitter uh, from arna uh, seberg it looks like and um again definitely uh an unfortunate scenario out here in terms of the uh the eruption activity i was up last night kind of covering this up to about two o'clock in the morning or so i tried to stay awake but uh, we needed a little bit of sleep we had a few things to do this morning earlier <clears throat> today so we had to get them done uh, but i would have loved to stay up all night and uh, cover this activity um <clears throat> Now, the president there of Iceland has uh, put out a little bit of information here. A uh, little statement. Uh, also, a couple informational statements here stating that the likely, likely that the eruption is isolating itself. And uh, eventually this could come down to just one area that's, uh, you know, spewing out lava in terms of fissure activity, similar to what we've seen last month. Uh, you know, right now we have a couple different places open. It should eventually just go down to one. That's a statement. 
Uh, he says that the power of the eruption is starting to decrease, but it is too early to say how fast it will continue to decline. Uh, nobody is going to Grindavik. So, um, yeah, it's uh, definitely an ongoing thing here. And the latest live stream from this area, you know, it's it looks a little bit less active here. Not a whole lot of uh, uh, fountaining, at least in this image here um, of the area. But it looks like they may be trying to uh, <clears throat> fix some berms out there. Or maybe reinforce some areas to prevent uh, the lava flow from affecting more uh, houses out there in the Greenvik area. That's what all these uh, construction folks are doing out there. So we'll continue to watch this and uh, see how it plays out. I want to double check the... Um, the GPS out here, this uh, inflation, see if anything has gone down. I'm sure it has. Um, well, slightly. It looks like it went way up here for a little bit. Got one measurement up here. This is the vertical displacement of the um, area of the Savart Singhi region. And uh, it's hard to tell exactly if we're going to see any uh, downturn. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing we should, right? considering that uh, there was quite the volume coming out there from the fisher activity throughout the day there today. Uh, but it's definitely a uh, some crazy stuff. We'll continue to watch that. Earthquake activity, though, has kind of dropped off compared to yesterday. We got... Uh, let me see what we got for total activity. 242 earthquakes in total. That includes the whole area around Iceland as well. Get another little separate swarm over here. This is a region that's seen um, a 4.5 or maybe a 5-pointer here a couple days ago. Might be another area to watch. Uh, yesterday, we've seen this thing just blowing up here in terms of earthquake activity. I'm going to bring up the last 24 hours here and show you guys. There was, uh, goodness, a lot. Look at that. 871 earthquakes. Uh, in the 24-hour period, and the majority of them were down here across the area um, where we're seeing all this activity uh, take place. Of course, red there for the Reckness Peninsula, indicating, you know, the ongoing activity. There was just a lot of movement, goodness, and more so offshore as well. If you look at all this activity occurring out in the, uh, uh, the rift zone areas, um, which extend offshore, do show a lot of earthquake activity as well so we definitely seen some type of adjustment yesterday along the plate boundary that allowed uh, i think some further inflow uh, and some further uh, magma into that area can't be sure that it's going to end um, completely uh, but we'll continue to watch that and uh, report back on any changes that take place out here again live look uh, let's see what we got for the multi-view out here <clears throat> Um, still fountaining here, it looks like, across this little area. That is, um, that is today's time frame. The site called, uh, <clears throat> live from Iceland.is is the site to check out, uh, in terms of the video here. Um, so yeah, we'll just, we'll continue to watch it. It kind of looks like that, uh, the flow of it, you know, that river type flow that it was having last night, uh, and throughout the day, uh, has slowed down quite a bit, but, uh, you know, it's obviously has entered into town and, uh, we'll continue to check back on it here, folks. Um, a lot of articles putting it out. I'm um, not going to cover all those, but we'll, We'll definitely check back here throughout the day today. As um, far as global earthquake activity goes, well, let's see what we got here in the uh, last 24 for the largest activity. Looks like a five-pointer there in Chile from yesterday. Also seeing some movement 
into the uh, central mid-atlantic ridge uh, today it looks like a 4.9 nothing big so far today uh, in terms of earthquake activity globally uh, see what's going on here across hawaii uh, still seeing some movement across the kilauea volcano here uh, pretty shallow fairly shallow earthquake activity uh, with some ones and twos today i don't think these guys are erupting yet uh, but we'll double check that and see this is another area that's seen some high inflation uh, and with uh, you know an eruption that could take place here soon uh, the volcano is currently not erupting and it's the same statement here that we've read for quite a while and highest level of inflation since the 2018 eruption so activity could occur uh, in the near future with little or no warning but we should see elevated earthquake activity prior to any um, um, eruptive activity happening there across the big island uh, a real quick glance here at the tilt meters just going to keep this somewhat short of an update because i got to get things going here on my end uwe looks like we took a a dramatic turn down turn a downward deflation there across the summit area of kilauea volcano um let's see now while not it it's not really a huge super drop it looks like it is on that two day uh, but we're still somewhat elevated here so we'll continue to watch that uh, if the trend continues we should see just a little dipping a little little deflation and then uh things should start to come back up here should uh earthquake activity in the last 24 hours does show a handful of those earthquakes around the kilauea volcano and um around maybe the pahala area as well looks like maybe some fluid movement going on here in the last hour or so looks like uh, uh some magma movement going on there uh but far as the latest webcam imagery of this area let's see what we got this is put out today local time there hawaii no visible activity far as well just volcanic gases which been doing this for quite a while uh, but no signs of eruptive activity there across the lava lake region of Kilauea volcano all right uh, backing out of here again there's not a whole lot going on globally in terms of uh, any large-scale earthquake activity in fact it looks a little quiet out here today if you look at earthquake movement the Atlantic definitely shown some elevated activity uh, out here in these uh, divergent zones ice and up there as well uh, so we'll continue to watch that see if uh, anything uh, kicks back up in terms of new fisher activity i'll we'll take a look at one last look here at the webcam imagery if they are working there they are still seeing some fisher activity here up north as well there's the town uh, this is that one little fisher activity that opened up just north of town looks like that's starting to uh, really kick up the housing uh, the houses here that were affected on the north side of Greendevik or right about here um, you know this could continue to increase uh, with the amount of uh, uh, magma flowing into the area from below we could get these little periods of increased activity and maybe even some further fissure activity opening up here across the area of Greendevik but yeah that's the north one here the newer one that opened up uh, and that's affecting the housing right there on you can kind of see the Greendevik town right here in the dark some of the housing here that's been affected uh, not a good deal definitely not um, but it is some type of historic event and I'm sure this will definitely go uh, into the record books here uh, in terms of um, you know Icelandic history out here yeah, getting a, a pretty good inflow right now of magma from below uh, and erupting from that fissure right there into those house into that housing community into the town of Grindavik you know really can't uh, mother nature is going to do what mother nature wants to do uh, regardless but these guys out here I think they're trying to you know hopefully detour that lava somehow uh, I think they're kind of reinforcing some stuff out here, I believe. But uh, that is uh, 
it's definitely not good right there in the north side of town that will probably continue to flow through the town and out uh, to the sea again we'll continue to watch that this is up on the live stream the official site is live from iceland.is they have multiple webcams here um, all over the place the Savartsingi area the power plant looks like they are safe uh, for now in the blue lagoon over here this activity is occurring uh, south of this region all right uh real quick glance uh it's just mesmerizing it's hard to take my eyes off of it but uh got to get going here check out space weather activity real quick and then we'll move on uh space weather activities drop down uh, nicely uh, only seeing a little bit of sea flare activity here in the last few hours uh, while we do have numerous sunspots that are currently facing the earth uh, relatively all these sunspots are stable or decaying uh, i don't see any signs of strengthening out here with any of these sunspots um, absolutely none of them we do have a couple regions around the eastern limb that are way out there might be turning it will be turning into view here in a little bit uh, but it's hard to say if we're going to see any uh, complex sunspots uh, facing the earth here anytime soon but uh, the flare threat well 99 percent chance for a c flare m flare 30 x flare has been dropped to about one percent so not really expecting much we are seeing a little bit of auroras kicking up here across the uh the dark side of the earth well where people are sleeping that is the unlit side um so they have a chance of seeing some roars up there maybe around iceland and greenland as well uh, potential uh, but far as any major three-day forecast here any major roars it doesn't look like it things look uh, fairly minimal all right uh we'll uh continue to watch this folks and report back on any changes feel free to share any information here in the live chat um it looks like we got that one flow that started last night going to the uh, west side of Green Devic here. There's the north side. They got all their lights and stuff pointing at this area, seeing where it's flowing. Hopefully that dodges town. The, the concerning one right now is this one right here in the north that's just outside of uh, Green Devic. That fisher activity uh, you know, of course, the lava is going to flow right into town and uh, southward out to the ocean. But there's always possibility here, always a, a potential that we could see further fissure activity open, opening up out here across the town itself. Um, looks like there's a little, oh, that's just some more fountaining going on. But looks like that was starting to get a little bit more lengthier. I wasn't not 100% certain how big of a fissure this is there that's entered the town. Uh, but I do see some fountaining going on there on that back side there. So things are still active, folks. Uh, we'll continue to watch it and check back, report back on any major changes. Uh, enjoy your Sunday. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later today. i got a pretty busy day. Take care.